Thrive is super important because it opens doors to people who are just wanting to try something that they can really change a space. But I appreciate the risk that you're taking on people who have vision and just need that, like, that lift. Thrive was founded on the premise that we already know that there are amazing artists out there in the community doing this work. So why not give them the opportunity to produce their own work through the mechanism of a funding source in the government? Thrive has supported in District 19. It's really been remarkable that it has done a lot to uplift underrepresented or underserved communities. I admire and appreciate the fact that Thrive is intentional, like that particular like hub is really intentional about your project being one that connects different people groups. My goal is to get together with like-minded people and not only to be creative, but take that creativeness and that artistic ability and make change. We had Afro Cardio to come in to teach the children how to meditate, how to walk within your purpose. We had spoken word, we had singers, and then the most important part was the showcase of the children. We had a talent show. So we see a lot of community pride come from these projects. A lot of times, different communities and neighborhoods historically have had issues getting access to arts, regardless of any kind of art form. And so for a community member who is also an artist to come to Thrive and get funding, it creates a broader reach for access. Thrive is exemplary of the idea of equity in a community, right? This is not just some remote and distant thing that is, is inaccessible. It's really driving the idea of a community-based approach to arts. It's good to know that somebody actually will help you, will see a vision and help you shape it so that you can do something with it. We have one artist who did the Impressions Bureau project, Daniel Oriti, and he got multiple canvases together and brought the community together and they painted a mural about the Woodbine community. It's really awesome because it brought this community together to celebrate their image. The combination of the Tansova Grupa, which is a, a ten-piece ensemble that plays Eastern European dance music, folk dances from the villages. We have combined with the Nashville International Folk Dancers and put together this workshop that teaches people how to do some of these very interesting village dances and brings the community together over the idea of music and dance. And it's across all cultures. It doesn't matter you know, where you're coming from or even if you can understand English, you can learn these dances. The Arts Commission, we are able to guide them in ways that allow them to think about and research what is the next step to get funded and what is the next step to implement your project. Thanks to Thrive, we've gone out into neighborhoods that we hadn't been to before to dance and encourage people to try new things and make new friends and have new experiences. We've had sound artists, visual artists, performing artists, theater artists, painters, sculptors. And so to be able to be a part of this program and provide that space, I think you guys are amazing for doing that. There is a huge way in which I think this reinforces Nashville as a creative center in the South.